Mayday. We're out of control and gaining altitude. Dad, I'm scared. Stay low and hang on, son. Ah! Dad! I'm at 10,000 feet and climbing. Can anyone hear me? What is that? Rescue. Looks like you could use a little help. Look after him. I've got him. Take my hand. I can't reach. No! Ah! Ah! Dad! Five, I need you now. Tracking his descent. Coordinates are locked in. Please, you have to save him. No one is losing their dad today. John, what's my time window? At terminal velocity, less than 50 seconds. Strap in. Okay, Thunderbird 5. Well done, Alan. I almost missed my favorite show. <laughs> and that, KO, is how it's done. Congratulations, Alan. You've returned TV repeats to people across the globe. Maybe one of these days I'll get a real mission. If anyone should be complaining, it's me. I'm head of security for International Rescue, and I don't even have my own ship. And right now I'm up here... What, babysitting? I wasn't going to say that. Oh, you were totally going to say that. Okay, I was. But I didn't. And I'm sorry I thought it. Thunderbird 1, report please. That's bad news, John. This retrofit is gonna take a lot longer than expected. Maybe you can come down here and give me a hand. Not to worry, Scott. With my new mobile engineering lab, I should have you back in the air in no time. Now, let's have a look at that hatch deployment actuator. Oops. Sorry, Max. Oh, this weight is killing me. Incoming call. Lady Penelope. Hello, Scott. His brain's still working on your ship. Can't rush a genius. <laughs> Let him know, crisis averted. I managed to convince the consortium to stop hoarding their iridium reserves. That'll be some good news for brains. Tracy Island out. Parker, when was the last time you had your eyes checked? Not since the service, I'm sure. What makes you ask, my lady? You're driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Your choice of lanes wouldn't have anything to do with the car trying to run us off the road, would it? It does indeed, my lady. Oh! <laughs> well, this is rather distressing. He's going to make us late. See if you can give him the slip, will you, Parker? Right away, my lady. I always love using that. Here we are, my lady. Will you be needed at a school? If I can hold my own against international gangsters, I can certainly handle a royal premier. This is Thunderbird 2, on final approach to Tracy Island. So, we meet again. That's right. Automated kitchen module. Tonight, I'm cooking dinner for my family. Hmm. Now, where's your flipping on switch? Does this mean teaspoon or tablespoon? 
they need to find someone to try this. Anyone up there? Oh, no. Gordon? Hey, Virgil. How long have you been under here? From the second I sensed Grandma was looking for a test subject, I'm still recovering from the last family meal. Dad's desk. I guess, in a way, he's still looking out for us. Hey, you two, get out from under there and taste this. He always did take her side. International Rescue. I'm detecting a sea quake off the Minerva Reef. What can you report, Thunderbird 5? I'm getting a mayday from an underwater research station near the epicenter. International Rescue, can you respond? We're on our way. Ah, uh, you guys will have to handle this one without me. Thunderbird 1 is still grounded. We'll do our best, Scott. We'll do our best. Sorry, Grandma. Gotta go. Thunderbirds are go. It's a Poseidon-class submersible with a crew of three. They report no injuries, but are taking on water. Access to the escape hatch is blocked. I'll try to stabilize the station from above, and Gordon can help get them out. Sound good? F.A.B., Virgil. What's our status? All the subsections are completely flooded. We're running out of time. International Rescue. This is Dr. Meddings. I don't know how much longer we have. Stand by for launch, Thunderbird 4. Systems check complete, docking clamp released. We are go for module deployment. Ballast control active, leveling off. I've got sonar lock, five minutes out. All right, make it quick, Thunderbird 4. I'll get started on stabilizing it from above. This is International Rescue. Is everybody all right? For the moment, yes. Our escape submersible has malfunctioned, and we're taking on water. We're still attempting to attach a magnetic grapple. You may feel another shift. I'd stand on my head if it helps. Thunderbird 5, have a look at my sensors, will ya? They're picking something up, and so is my famous Gordon Tracy squid sense. Your focus needs to be on that research station, Thunderbird 4, not your squid sense. Uh, John, I'm detecting a YT-88 transponder beacon. Really? That's the same kind Dad had on his ship. I know this is important, Gordon, but can it wait until after we deal with the station? Not if it gets buried by another quake. The signal's coming from inside a fault trench. Gordon should check it out, just to be sure. Side. Signal's getting stronger. I've got a visual on something. I'm going in for a closer look. Negative. It's not Dad's. Sorry, Gordon. Now let's get back to work. I'm having a little trouble grabbing hold of the station. Not so fast, Virgil. Whatever it is I'm looking at, it shouldn't be here. Uh oh! John, it's a sea quake! Thunderbird 4, get out of there! Oh no! John! Thunderbird 5! <laughs> Gordon, come in. Thunderbird 4, can you read me? Gordon! Scott, Thunderbird 4 is not responding, and Thunderbird 2 is having trouble latching onto the station. We may have a situation. FAB, Thunderbird 5. Thunderbird 1 needs to launch, ready or not. Scott, these modifications haven't been fully tested. I can't think of a better time than now. I'd suggest clearing out. That hangar is about to get toasty. One. System active. Shifting the horizontal flight. She flies great, Brains. Turbojets engaged. Thunder 5, let me know the second you make contact with Gordon. FAB. Stop. 
station must be made of some kind of composite. I'm not getting a lock. Come on, attach. Thunderbird One, welcome to the party. I'm having a hard time grabbing on. Let me give it a try. to make it look so easy? Hmm. Lucky shot. International Rescue! We're having another sea quake! We've just lost half the legs! Increasing thrust to compensate. You need to get a grip on this thing fast, Thunderbird 2, or I'm going under. Okay, I got it! As long as we keep it stable, it should hold out long enough for Gordon to do the evac. FAB, I just hope John can get in contact with him soon. Ouch. You hurt Siphasaur eyes. Yeah, I got knocked out for a minute. I'm okay now. Thunderbird 4 is another story. So much for your world famous squid sense. Do me a favor, John, run a seismic analysis of the last two quakes and tell me where the epicenter was. Okay, stand by. Whoa. The epicenter is exactly your location. That can't be a coincidence. Is this so important you'd risk a mission failure? I think this machine is somehow causing the earthquakes. Now, find a way out. They need you at that station. Not until I get what I came for. as soon as we get back to the island. F.A.B. Gordon, I'll be standing by. Gordon, to what do I owe the pleasure? Afraid this isn't a social call, your ladyship. I need a favor. Whatever you need. I need our London agent to do some agenting. Oh, belighted. Change of plans, Parker. We have another assignment. Okay, folks, I'm almost there. Good news, Thunderbird 4. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold on. International rescue! The control room is flooding! Just get us out of here! Leave the planet for a few hours and the whole world falls apart. But at least it has TV. my way in from underneath. I'll evac the crew in dry tubes. Thunderbird 5, have the crew prepare for immediate evacuation. Everyone cool? F.A. Works for me. Okay, then. Here we go. Okay, I'm inside. Making my way to the crew compartment. Inside the control room, all hands accounted for. I'll take them out one at a time. Good news, Thunderbird 4. But hurry, we're hanging on by a thread here. You're gonna be okay. First dry tube is away. Both under. 
Thunderbird 4, can you read me? Gordon, do you read me? Gordon! FAB Thunderbird 2, my radio's damaged, but we're all right. Release the cables. for retrieval. FAB Predator 4. I've got you. Nice job, bro. Thunderbird 1, FAB. Hey, good luck. Oh, welcome back. Good to back. Well, what do you think? I think you found where Sea Junk goes to die. Mm. It is rather crudely made. <sighs> I'll begin my analysis immediately. International rescue. I'm picking up seismic activity like I've never seen before. Multiple earthquakes all under sea. Epicenters are equal distances apart, and they're going off in sequence. Earthquakes t typically don't work like that. This is highly unusual. I'm telling you it's because someone is causing them on purpose with these things. Why would someone want to cause an earthquake? It's 2060. That's not the kind of world we live in. I'm afraid it might be, Virgil. It was made with off-the-shelf components, according to my expert. Expert? <laughs> that would be me, sir. Quite a brisk trade for these bits of the black market. So I told. In that case, they should be easy to track. Precisely, Brains. I already have. We're at the address to where much of the equipment was shipped. This is rather alarming. There's a note here, addressed to International Rescue. It says, press me and all your questions will be answered. I say we press the button and deal with the consequences. I smell a trap. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. I want answers. I'm telling you, trap. Kale, what do you think? It definitely looks dodgy, but what's the worst that can happen? My thoughts exactly. Parker! Global airwaves are being taken over. I'm running a trace, but it looks like the source is being masked. Now that I have your attention, you have by now felt the earthquakes in the Southern Ocean. Those were only the beginning. There will be more. Many more. And they'll be increasing in magnitude until my very reasonable terms are met. If not, every city along the Ring of Fire will be brought to its knees, and there is nothing anyone can do to stop it, including international rescue. If you put your trust in them, you will regret it. Only one person has that much contempt for international rescue. That was him, wasn't it? The same person responsible for Dad's crash. That was the hood. He's back. It has to be the hood. There's no other explanation. Scott. Even if that was him, we can't confirm it. As far as the Global Defense Force is concerned, the HUD is still nothing but a phantom. So what do you suggest, Colonel Casey? We sit around and do nothing? You'll do what International Rescue does best, Virgil. Help people in trouble. We'll bring him to justice. They don't stand a chance, do they? If devices like these are causing earthquakes, we'll find a way to shut them down. We still don't even know what we're dealing with here. I can give you a pretty good idea. Seismic activity has been steadily growing since the first quake, and it's spreading north along the Pacific Plate. This is a global catastrophe in the making. Do you feel that? It's another quake. Receiving hundreds of distress calls from along the Southern Pacific Rim. Just tell us where you need us, Thunderbird 5. Oh my, the solar collector in Taiwan has fallen out of alignment. Is that an actual emergency, Brains? Here's how it was before. 
Thousands of individually controlled mirrors concentrate the sun's rays into a frighteningly p powerful beam. We're talking heat so intense you get the same kind of hydrogen fusion that fuels a star. This is the collector now. When the sun comes up, those rays will be aiming d directly at the city of Taipei. Sounds like we need to move that reflector. Gordon, I'm picking up a distress call from a fishing trawler taking on water. Tell them I'm on my way. All right then, time to gear up. Yes, let's do this. Sorry, Alan. We need to keep you and Thunderbird 3 in reserve. In case the TV goes out. I get it. Thunderbirds are go! Activating scramjets. Slow and steady wins the race. I'll see you when I get there. F.A.B. Lady Penelope, I need some information. Done. Of course. It's about the hood. I know Dad had you looking into him. True, but I'm afraid I didn't learn much. I uncovered at least seven aliases he operated under, but since your father's accident, the trail went cold. He simply disappeared. Gordon was right. The Global Defense Force doesn't stand a chance finding this guy. Hmm. This looks to be some kind of transmitter. Thunderbird 5, do you read me? I need you to monitor a frequency for me. Standing by. What's this thing do? It appears to be the seismic actuator. In a working device, the vibrations would generate an earthquake. Might I suggest, look, don't touch. Visual on the solar collector. This is going to be trickier than I thought. I'm going to have to land at the base of the mountain and jetpack up to the site to get a closer look. FAB is gone. Hold on a minute. I'm getting another breakthrough. All global frequencies. People of Earth, you have seen the power I command. My demands are simple. I'll require three perfect spheres of diphilium alloy, an island above the 33rd parallel, and the World Council will deliver the Thunderbirds to me. All of them. Before this day is done. Fulfill my request, and the earthquakes will stop. Ignore them, and the suffering will see no end. Scott, did you get all that? Yeah, he has to be joking. That list of demands is right out of a bad movie. He may be messing with us, but there is no way we are handing over the Thunderbirds. Brains, I think you may have found the key to stopping these earthquake generators. Using that frequency, I was able to isolate the control signal linking all the devices together. Over 500 devices total. And they're all being controlled by one single satellite. Of course, John. If we can attach just one of these bypass modules to the satellite, it will redirect control of the earthquake generators to us. Then we'll be able to shut all of them down at once. It gets even better. When the hood tries to check in, we'll find out exactly where he's hiding. Alan, time to gear up. Yes! Solo mission, baby! Except I'll be along for the ride. This is still your mission. I just need a lift. I can look with that. time the babysitter thing ah no big deal most guys would kill to have you for a babysitter <laughs> uh because you're you know so responsible in in stuff <laughs> you know those demands are a joke right the world council is desperate i wouldn't put it past them to make you hand over your ships can you buy us some time we might have found a way to stop all this consider it done
Number 10 Downing Street, if you would, Parker. Right away, my lady. Fair blood is hoof. National Rescue, we have another situation. I found a control room crushed under the base of the collector. I think there may be people inside. I'll try and get them out. Brains, is there any other way inside this thing? Through the server room, but, but you'll have to use the access hatch. And where is the access hatch? In the center of the collector. All right, I'll focus on the workers. Thunderbird 2, you'll need to move that dish. It's sunrise. FAB. Scott, get in there or you're going to be a baked potato. I feel like one already. Okay, I'm in. I'll drop the magnetic claw and try to pull the dish skyward. Would you look at that? First try. I'm in the server room, Brains. I can hear people below me, but I don't see a way down. What's Scott, I think we may have a slight complication. For number two, there's too much pressure. Disengage. another way to move it. Well, we better think of something fast. Taipei is about to get cooked. What is that? Scott, I may have a solution. The collector is made up of thousands of tiny mirrors. If we can override the main controls, it's as simple as turning the mirrors instead of the whole collector. Tell me what to do, Brains. Scott? You're looking for a junction marked A18. I don't see it, Brains. It jumps from A15 to A25. These schematics must be out of date. Look for the p power distribution relay. Rack 4. Ah, uh, rack 4. Got it. Turn it to the left. Brains? The earthquake must have damaged the mechanism. The solar collector is going to destroy the city no matter what. No! to destroy this dish. I need options, Brains. Fast. Here, the primary support arm. Remove that and the entire dish will detach. I'm sending you coordinates now. Virgil, get the engineers out. I'm taking out the dish. Are you sure about this? It's what Dad would have done. Virgil, I'm cutting my way through.
tree. We've got eyes on the satellite. Alan, it's essential you don't take Thunderbird 3 too close. Matching orbit for intercept. If the Hood suspects we're tampering with his satellite, he could set everything off at once. Electronic shielding is active. We should be invisible to any sensors on board. FAB. <laughs> Wish me luck. You got this. This is Thunderbird 3. Commencing EVA. One other thing. There's an automated status signal sent every 30 seconds. You'll have to attach the bypass module between bursts. Sure. Okay. Stand by. In three, two, one. We have 29 seconds, Alan. Whoa. Any false move and the hood will be alerted. No pressure. Lady Penelope bought us some time. But this may be the only chance we get. It's just like fixing a TV. You can do this. Ten seconds, Alan. Bypass module attached. The hatch is sealed. <laughs> you did it. The signal is ours. Okay, Brain, shut them down. Come on, Sam. They're turning off. High five, Max. Ow. <sighs> That's a relief. <laughs> you really had a sweating Thunderbird 3. Wait, you didn't think I was choking back there, did you? Now, I had to make sure I had the correct input selected. Right. In any case, we're proud of you. I have the hood's location. My turn. Commencing halo drop. On you now. 1,000 meters. Deploying air brake. <laughs> I'm down. Good luck, KO. Be careful in there. You should be warning the other guys. Well, this is a surprise. Kao, are you there? John, I've lost Kao's for feed. So have I. I haven't seen you in a very long time, Tanusha Kirana. But they call you Kao now, don't they? For that knockout punch, no doubt. I have to assume since you are here, International Rescue found a way to stop my earthquake machines. Bravo. You're in a pretty good mood for someone who just got their butt kicked. I can assure you my objective was most certainly achieved. I've made my presence known, I've assessed the Global Defense Force's pitiful ability to mobilize against me, and it's been made perfectly clear that the world's leaders are all too willing to sell out International Rescue to save their own skins. So you can rule the world. <laughs> I don't want to rule the world. I simply want to own it. Let someone else run the place. I could, however, use a little help around here. Interesting? Never. Come now. We are family, after all. I already have a family on Tracy Island. Families shouldn't keep secrets, Tanusha. Do they know yours? <sighs> that the man they believe is responsible for the great Jeff Tracy's demise is your very own uncle? I'll tell you something they do know. You're finished, Uncle. <gasps> Did you really think you could take me and the rest of my forces down all by yourself? No, I didn't. That's someone else's job. The Hood, I presume? You're an impressive young woman, Tanusha. I'm sure we'll meet again. You too, Kale! Thunderbird 5, 
It's Ko. I'm gonna need a ride. Whoa! How's that for a ride? It's all yours, Thunderbird S. It stands for Thunderbird Shadow. Wow, brains! I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry it took me so long. I wanted it to be p perfect. It is. Thank you, brains. Now you're really one of us. I should probably check your suit camera for a malfunction. That's okay. I accidentally turned it off. Awfully convenient with your camera. <sighs> Don't worry. Jeff kept your secret, Ko, and I will too. But you're going to have to tell them eventually. I know. Well, now that we're all here, how about a nice family dinner? <sighs> Seems like I've been in that kitchen for days. Sounds great. I'll go clean up. Meet me on the ship. Thunderbirds are gone. Smell the feet. What's that, John? A rescue? I'm on my way. Uh, I think I left my thruster on. Well, this should be fun. <laughs> You're going to love it. It's called Meatloaf Surprise. Well, what's the surprise? Dunno. Let's find out.